Hey guys, it's Kareem Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of Bang Dream. It's Michael, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hold up. Whoa. Whoa. Um, Ma'am, you can't, Taki, you can't say that to her. Oh my God. Uh, you know what? I, and I do like Taki because Taki, she's very honest. She is cutthroat. She's going to say, like, she she reminds me of, like, people who are like, okay. You know, th there's several different types of people, but I can think of two. Where someone who's going to be like, let me let you down gently. And then you have the other ones who are like, mm -mm, let me tell you, the absolute mother of being true. That is Taki. Taki is like, I am not going to let you down gently. You are going to get the harsh, absolute, like, might end up making you cry truth. Why? Because you you're you don't want a person or a friend to be like, oh, no, like, da-da-da-da-da. But sometimes you do. You want that criticism, and you want someone to tell you when you effed up. So... Taki, Taki's in here and you're like, nope, mm -mm, you're not going, <laughs> you're not going to say he's in the morning. So, okay. We going to talk. <laughs> like, oh my God, babe. See, now, when I look at, like, the background characters for this episode, they're now making them look like, okay, you know the new art style for the game? Everybody kind of says it's, like, a hit or a miss. I kind of like it. It's different. But when it comes to, like, the way the cards now look, it it is somewhat of a hit or a miss, depending. But that's what, like, majority of the background characters, what they look like now is the way the art style is. Mm -mm. Yeah, but she might not listen to you. Well, um, she walking over. <laughs> and I think I already asked this. But I'm asking again, when are they going to have them, her, the other girl, like they're going to eventually be added in the game one. But secondly, are they going to do an anime on them? Because they're possibly being taken place at the same time as this or maybe a little bit later. But who knows? I don't think Rana looks at her phone. Girl. 
No, baby. No, 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 don't say that. You got this. Be confident. Well, we all know that's fake. She ain't sick. She's just upset. No. Everything's been like that. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> She felt like she was the heart of the whole group. And I mean, in a way, she kind of was. And so when she left, the rest of you crumbled without her. This is just fun till I made in part two.
No. I I do love the fact that they still continuously use the 2D version from the original series from season one specifically. Because it's still, like, the, what they did is they took things that, like, yeah, it wasn't really good and they tweaked it. And I just love that they still use it, though. It's nice. It just shows you how far this series has come. So, yeah. Baby, she's not going to answer you. I think right now she's officially done with you guys. Huh? That look in her eyes. Oh, God. Just walked right past her. She might not still want to talk to you, so yeah. Damn, girl, I mean, that's hella harsh. <laughs> right? Oh my. <laughs> it's the same thing. You don't want to say females because not most of us really don't want to hear someone say females. You say girls, women, we're fine with that. Not females.
Or I think we don't like it when guys say that. I don't really like when a guy says female to me. It's, I'm like, I don't call you male. She might end up coming by the end of this episode. I just think she really needs to talk to What's Her Face to finally move on from this. You want to wait or do you want to practice? Follow your heart. Right? Pretty house. Big house, though. Go on. You tell her how you really feel. This is your final moments with her. Right? Not anymore. Because we're not in a group together anymore. But she doesn't. You can tell clearly that she doesn't, so yo.
but it has Oh, that's harsh. Now, if she walk away, I'm be pissed. Okay, no. Thank God. But of course, she does feel bad. And I think if she had a stopped soil, none of this would have happened. Oh. You're like, dang, sad. You know what? We got a sad moment, sad song. There is no happy song on this. But like, oh my God, this truly is a real, like I said, this is a different story. This is a, like, mm, this is a depressing story for Bundy. I mean, Bundy has, like, ha has had depressing moments with any of the girls. But this, uh, this series, this group is a, a, a good group but with a sad origin story. Like, truly. I mean, going back to the first three episodes and seeing those, like, back to back to back. And seeing the end of Chrysler. Like, yes, that is a very depressing moment. But then also with Soyo wanting to bring everybody back together. And how she's like, I'll do anything. And one of her friends who possibly is like a near and dear sister to her at this. Before all what she said that she said. um, And saying about the meaning of the words, you know, truly behind I'll do anything. And saying that you can't really back that up. I understand the reason why she did it. I do agree a little bit with the, the fact that she said it, but she's saying it in a really harsh tone. And so Soyo is even more depressed about this. I mean, going into last week to this week and Soyo arguing or yelling at Mori to the point where she, Soyo is texting homegirl. Like, in, the, in a weird way, it's like it's a relationship and such. And because of the fact is like she's texting her over and over and over and over again. And she's not responding. And then she had the nerve to look up like, how do you know if someone has cut you off, being blocked or whatever. And sometimes those are the signs. Those are really truly the signs. If someone does not really talk to you on like a... Uh, daily basis or just something or whatever or you just sometimes you can have weird feelings like me I will get like this weird pit in my stomach it feels like my stomach is eating at its um at itself and such and so then I'm like I don't know like mm, got a weird bad juju or something um but sometimes I can just like face it but then usually those bad feelings do eventually come back to me and sometimes haunt me and such but for her the that group Chrysic was everything to her it still is and so she wants to try to pick those pieces up but like I said once homegirl got that text not those text, text messages wrong thing the the comments on Twitter plus maybe anything else 
and seeing those mean tweets and everything really screwed with her head and how you know she wanted to continue with the group then homegirl who likes to do ballet is saying like well i really haven't had fun since the beginning of this but you know mori taki and um sayo have but i think it because we are very close to the end of the show I, I feel like in the next two, maybe three weeks, because I feel like this series is only going to have about like 12 to 13 episodes. And like I said, this is now episode eight. So we are fairly almost done with this show. Um, Mori is definitely going to try to do everything in her power to talk to her. Because as you can see, every single time when Mori sees her, she's instantly running after her and being like, I need to have a moment with you. But at the same time, Sayo, nope, not Sayo, <laughs> not Sayo for Brazilian. Sayo doesn't really want to give her the time of day because after this episode, she feels more depressed. It gives a lot of feels to how Sayo was in the original Bandari series and how, of course, Sayo was the last one to finally come in because with the same thing about her, she was in another group, eventually left. And how Kasumi was like, oh, I want you to join mine. But, you know, because she still felt guilty about the things that, you know, Saya did in her previous, she didn't want that to affect Popping Party. And so, of course, Soyo is very much similar to Saya. So it wouldn't surprise me, especially when these girls officially get into this game later on in the year, I'm guessing. Well, because we're almost halfway through the year anyway. Well, we're past that. <laughs> um... I want to say maybe about my birthday, so October 18th, or by November, December, they should officially be in the game, or heck, they probably be, could be in the game now. I haven't really played JP in, like, a hot minute, um, but I would love to see, you know, Soyo and Saya definitely interact, I, and it does make you wonder who all is going to be, like, in their little, like, small circle, who is going to be friends with other girls and such, especially, like, when the birthdays come up and such, but... Yeah, this was a really good episode. Still, you know, giving you the feels and being in the, the realm of, like, not only depression, but so many other things and emotions and stuff. And really conveying those, especially for Soyo, because really these last two episodes have been 100% about her. So I felt like next week will be the finale of Soyo's story, and then maybe we'll continue back into the group as a whole. But unfortunately, we have to wait and see. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you to its episode eight of Bang Dream. It's <laughs> my goal. I knew I was about to mess it up. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode nine. Bye, guys.